them personally and bring those to the board. Um, I believe that the board has that responsibility to investigate what actions that they can take. Thank you. Mrs. Washburn. Um, similar to Mr. Fortuna, I would also have to do some research to be fully informed, but the first thing that would come to mind would be that the school board would need to just build a support system for these students to make sure that they know that they're accepted and included and that we will do everything we can to continue to educate them and look out for their best interests. We would work with the community liaison and again just do anything and everything in our power to continue educating them and to help them feel safe and welcome. Thank you. And Ms. Pettit. Um, well, we'll start with every student that lives in our district is entitled to an education, a public education, a good public education. So it is our job as the board to make sure that the student is receiving this while they live in our district. Um, if they are affected with the DACA, we need to work with their representatives, their, their legal representative or their, uh, I'm not real sure on what who would be the representative if it would be a social worker or a lawyer or whatnot and work with them so that we can show them that we are educating this child and that they're a, they're a good citizen so to speak so that we can try and keep them here um, comfortable where their where their education is being taught thank you uh, the next question is a a little bit long but uh, let me read through it and then i will um we go. We can go over it again. As the Loveland Board of Education begins its work in January to 2018, it will get, begin the process of getting to know each other and understand each other. Inevitably, there will be differences of opinion, and it is difficult for a board to function without compromise. Could you give an example of your ability to see another side to an issue and work through differences? In other words, could you describe uh, for example, past experience with conflict resolution or consensus building. That was kind of the summary. Uh, and in addition to that, uh, and I recognize that there are two, two candidates with haven't been on the board and one that has, but but I would ask, uh, do you think, and this so so it could be in the future, that you could support a board decision that you were actually not in favor of. So if the majority voted, uh, and that all has to do with consensus building and trying to compromise and agree. So it's just any experience that you've had with uh, uh, trying to come to an agreement as a board of five and consensus building and how, how you have worked through that in the past and whether what you're thinking is on um, if there's a four to five vote that you just didn't really agree with, could you go out publicly and then support the board um, after a majority votes for that? And, and I, I did get that. It was like a National School Board Association question. I did, it didn't come out. <laughs> I didn't make it up. It was a national, it's an NSBA uh, question that I picked up online. So it's a little long, and uh, let you have time to think about that for a second. But Mrs. Washburn, we're going to start with you. We're working on our timer. <laughs> um, are you me? I'm sorry. That's okay. Do you want her to start? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's okay. We're ready. It, it isn't in anyone's best interest to just dig your heels in and stick firm to something. You have to look at both sides. You have to look at all of the issues, all of the factors, and take those into consideration. So compromise is the key to the success of any organization. So I believe that I am good at compromising and looking at all sides of a problem or decision. And I, I think that I compromise on a daily basis. I work with 165 teenagers every day. So compromise, compromise is part of my day, every day. Um, you just 
like I said, you can't just dig your heels in. I could go out in the public and speak confidently and positively about a decision that behind closed doors I didn't necessarily want or support the first time around. So I would recognize that if the majority felt that way, that that's what we should do and we would move forward with it and I would go out into the public and again get that information out there and be positive about it. Thank you, Ms. Ms. Pettit. <clears throat> I've had to do it. I, I have been the sole no vote on an occasion and um, but we are a board. We are one one entity. We are five individuals that that make up one thing. So if it's a majority vote we, we have no choice, but we have to go with the majority, and that's the message that we have to send out to the community. Um, when we have our meetings or our work sessions, that's when we are able to put um, each side out there. Everyone has their own argument. We all bring them together, and from there, we make an informed decision, and the majority will rule. So then we need to move forward as, as one, since we, the board of five individuals acts as one. We, we have no choice, but we have to. And we have to put a smile on our face and, and do it. Um, that's what we signed up for. <clears throat> um, but it is, as I said, when we're in our work sessions, we're discussing it. Everybody has their opinion. Everyone has their sides. And each person is unique in how that they operate and, and deal with it um, personality-wise. And one person may be boisterous, but that's how they, that's their personality. But if you listen to what they're saying, then you can understand where they're coming from to help make the, the decisions and, and move forward as a board. Thank you. Mr. Portain. Um, <clears throat> I will start with that I am married with children. <laughs> Therefore, I compromise daily, but pre present a unified front to the children. Um, so you know, we can start with that personally. But, um, Professionally, uh, I have been on a board before as a board of a, a national uh, disability organization for the disability that my daughter has. So I, I understand working on a board and that you are one voice uh, among many. However, you are one vo voice combined as you go out with decisions. Um, in my professional career, I am part of a management team. I have to make my case for things. I do not always get my way, but once an agreement has been made. Um, I move forward with that with all of my efforts because I need to make the team successful. Um, so I really don't see that as a problem. I think that the, uh, uh, the current board, everyone on the board uh, that, that I have met and know, I have no problem working with. Uh, but I truly believe that, that yeah, it's not a, an issue of uh, having something that you just sent to what the team agrees with to go out with that message. Thank you. Uh, the next question is, uh, from being the spouse of a former school board member, I know that preparing for board meetings is a challenging task. Uh, could you please talk about uh, finding the time, uh, energy, and focus to properly prepare for the board meetings? And I'll start with you, Ms. Pettit. Well, we live in the world of technology, so it's really neat when it comes across your phone. You can be the passenger in a car reading it. You can be <laughs> sitting at a restaurant reading it. But that wherever your phone goes, you have that information. So and while you're waiting on dance class to end, and you, you can sit and you can read it. And um, I am a big paper person, so um, generally I'll I'll skim through it, and then the, the key things that I need to do a little bit more homework on, I print out so I can read it and write my questions down and, and move from there. But um, since we have technology, it's a great thing, and we are moving to board docs, and I think it's even going to be easier for us with the board docs. Thank you. Mr. Pertune. Um I agree that technology is a, is a big boon today for being able to work either anywhere or 24-7 um, as, as a manager in the IT world, uh, I do that already. Um, I am also more of an evening person personally. I, I stay up and I find time to do plenty of things. Um, 
I don't think that finding the time to work uh, on the board and be prepared for meetings, I believe being prepared for meetings is imperative to the role. Um, I would not be running for this position did I not think I could put the time in.